Notre Dame-Michigan State game at East Lansing. Leading 14-7 in the second half, the Irish send quarterback Bob Williams on a bootleg play. A dazzling 40-yard gallop for the touchdown. A fumble in the Notre Dame backfield, but Williams picks it up to gain ground around end. Emil Sitko with the ball. He stampedes all the way for another tally. Twenty-seven to seven, and the floodgates are open. Williams passes to Bill Whitekin for ten. The next one goes for the distance. Williams to Hart, and the Irish have thirty-four points. In the dying moments, Gene Glick of Michigan State throws a desperation pass. It connects with Bob Carey for thirty-eight yards. The last heave is good too, but the touchdown comes too late. Notre Dame wallops Michigan State 34 to 21. North Carolina State trails North Carolina 6-0 at Chapel Hill. Bill Thompson of State chased to the sidelines, lobs a running aerial to Tony Ramanowski for 21 yards. Paul Bruno's handoff to Paul Dynan clicks for 16 more. State really pressing the Tar Heels now. Tailback Bill Thompson lugs it over for State. Now they're only a point behind 7-6. And just as the tension gets unbearable, a dog strays on the field. But he doesn't stop Billy Hayes of the Tar Heels who crashes for 12 yards. Mike Carver, subbing for All-America Choo Choo Justice, connects with Ken Powell as North Carolina fights for a score. Just as they begin to move, Hayes fumbles. Watch the scramble. State recovers. Vic Kaiser carrying for the Staters through the middle for nine. But they're held later. Kaiser has to punt and he gets away a beauty. Charlie Justice takes it. His reverse fools everyone, including the cameraman. Skeet Hesmer has the ball and a brilliant 85-yard sprint for a touchdown. North Carolina beats State 26-6. Arnold Galippa of Army passing against Pennsylvania and Philadelphia. It's complete to Dan Fulberg for 12 yards. The cadets trail 6-0. Speedster Jim Kane around the flank. Here comes the tying touchdown. After Army tallies again, Penn fights back. Reds Bagnell throws to Harry Wetlaufer to the 10. Another Quaker aerial, Bagnell to Warren Horton. A score, but the West Pointers are still on top by one point. Penn driving in the final seconds. Bob Duber skirts the end, stopped 10 yards away from Pader. A Penn field goal attempt, a furiously charging Army line blocks it to avert the upset of the season. The cadets win a squeaker 14-13. Highly rated Tulane met Georgia Tech early in the season at New Orleans before a sellout crowd. Tulane's publicized fullback Eddie Price rips through the Yellow Jacket line. George Kinnick carrying this time for a 14-yard gain. Quarterback Joe Ernest fading for a long pass. A miraculous catch by Kinnick, and it's a touchdown. What a play. Jimmy Southard trying to throw Tech back into the game. But it's intercepted by Bob Jones, who races upfield to the 43. Tulane hanging on to a six-point edge. In the fourth quarter, they're moving for the crusher. Price rams through, a step away from Pater. Ernst on a quarterback sneak, but Tex forward wall holds. No score. Bill Svoboda taking his crack now. Into the pileup and over. Tulane goes on to win 18 to nothing.
Philadelphia, Penn and Cornell meet for the Ivy League title as 75,000 watch the Turkey Day Classic. Penn's Ray Dooney is shaken into the clear, 40 yards to the seven. Dooney again, a buck into the middle, he's over. The Quakers ahead, 7-0. After Cornell ties it up, Penn goes for more. Red Spagnell nearly smeared. Then he gets his pass away. Harry Wetlaufer has it in the end zone for the talent. Behind by eight points, Cornell sends Jeff Fleischman wide. Watch him sidestep three tacklers to score. A 21-19 thriller now. Bagnell trying to ice it for Penn. But it's plucked out of the air by Charlie Taylor, who races back to the 30. Can Cornell catch up? Here's their last chance. Fourth down, Lynn Dorsett throwing. Dick Chamberlain makes the catch and steps over. A dying gasp rally by Cornell beats Penn for the Ivy crowd, 29 to 21. Bob Williams of Notre Dame launches a pass against Southern California at South Bend. Caught by Heisman Trophy winner Leon Hart, who scores for the Irish. See him leave that tackler behind. Now the Pacific Coast boys have Jim Powers passing. Watch the Notre Dame defense. John Pettibon intercepts, dances along the sidelines, and scores. The Fighting Irish tally 13 points in 90 seconds. The route continues in the second half. Frank Spaniel gets loose for 50 yards. Ernie Zaleski powers for nine more. Bill Barrett scores as Notre Dame massacres Southern Cal 32 to nothing. One hundred two thousand in Philadelphia's municipal stadium for the game of games, the Army-Navy battle. Arnold Gallip of the cadets fading for a pass, can't find a receiver, puts his head down and he runs. 13-yard gain on that one. Now he's back again. This time it's a toss, complete to Frank Fischel to the 11. Power play in the making. Gil Stevenson bulls across as Army starts a parade of touchdowns. Stevenson high-stepping again. He'll get to the 28. Galippa ending his career in a blaze of glory. He cocks his arm, a perfect shot to Dan Fulberg, who's caught a stride away from Pater. Fullback Stevenson takes it the rest of the way. It's 31-0. After Coach Red Blake clears the bench, Herb Johnson goes to the two for the cadets. Johnson scores. Army sinks Navy 38-0.